So the kitties are eating themselves some wet food. So I figure what better time than now to start the vlog. And uh, I'm going to start with Richard Lehman's The Woods Are Dark. I'm using a uh, little, my one of my new bookmarks, which is the Michael Myers bookmark. I'm a little bit worried because Dean Kuntz liked this book. And Dean Kuntz is terrible, so. Oh, what? Why would you put, what? Wait, why would you put Stephen King's quote on the back? And put Dean Coons on the front. Oh, look, even Gray Bradner liked it. Cool. And, and all of these people are better than frickin' Mr. Coons. I can't believe this. Well, we'll see if I like this. So, to, today I have some running around to do, so I'm actually going to listen to one of the books um, on audiobook. Because Scribd has uh, two of the Richard Lehman books that I'm giving her. An audiobook, so I'm gonna be starting the Dark Mountain tonight. Or, well, it's not nighttime. It kind of just looks like it because it's overcast, and even my brain is like, it's night, it's night. It's not. It's uh, it's daytime. So I'm gonna be listening to that. Um, that was a weird. I started that book. I got about 20 pages into uh, the Woods Are Dark, and uh, that was certainly a book. It certainly, it was a book. Let's see what I think about Dark Mountain, and I will probably actually finish um, The Dark Woods, or whatever the fuck it's called, um, later today. So I had to pause Dark Mountain, and I haven't even left to do my chores yet, but we got our first rump mention. If you don't know about Richard Lehman, he loves the word rump, so... This is the first time I've encountered Rump in one of his books. So now you get the bah, 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 Rump mention. I'm sure my neighbors are now very concerned about who they're living beside, but oh well. So I just finished my very first Richard Lehman book, Dark Mountain, or as it was originally published, Tread Softly. Uh, there were a total of 17 Rump mentions. Um, they are very, very noticeable. Uh <laughs> I was like, every time I was like, oh, he did the thing. It's like in a movie, and when they like say the title of the movie, you're like, oh, it's the thing, he's doing the thing. And it's like, rump, rump, rump. And you're like, that's, he loves the rumps. Uh, so yeah, I think Richard Lehman is what people think when they think of with like, uh, you know, vintage horror and paperback from hell. What people think paperbacks from hell are which is like the trashiness and like all of the very smuttiness and, and all of these extra adjectives that gets kind of thrown onto vintage horror. I think Richard Laban is the pinnacle of, of that. The ideas that people have, that is actually just Richard Lehman. Uh, now, I, I, I don't want to be completely negative. I did enjoy the plot of this book. I mean, like, the plot is actually pretty fun. Uh, it's like a group of people go into the woods, um, and then they somehow run afoul of a witch who curses them, uh, and they have to kind of deal with the curse of the lady of the witches. Uh, and it's, it's, it's an interesting plot. Um, there's all kinds of twists and turns around the ray, some reanimations of the dead, some hallucinations. Um, there's also some very, very rough scenes. Uh, there's like a sexual assault scene, which is like, oof. And then the way that it's written afterwards, you're like, ooh, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, which does bring you to the the main issues with Richard Lehman in general, which is, uh, oh man, somebody need to bonk that man and send him to horny jail because, oif, he just goes off and off and on. And it's like when he's not like being the the kind of like this gross smutty guy, he is. <laughs> he's like he's able to do some pretty decent scares and do some pretty good atmosphere because a, a, a lot of parts of the early book portions of the book they're like hiking and stuff and you're like yo wow this like feels very summery like i i can really kind of get into the atmosphere but yeah he just cannot stop every every woman and at, sometimes women are topless comparing their breasts and he was like what is going on and saying things where you're like i don't think any human <laughs> would be saying this about another human none of the cats want to be on screen when i'm talking about the, the smuttiness i'm sorry loomis you're coming back um but yeah and then like it's fine i guess when they're like older right because at least they're like adult women but there's like some teenager stuff in here and i'm like i really hated that stuff 
and I just had to skip a whole bunch of scenes or like put it on like three times speed to just get through it super fast because it was like that's not good you should not I I understand that you know that's that's what being a teenager is like but uh you don't need to write about it in that detail you can just say it happens and then go to the next scene like it's like detailed to the point where you're like this is very gross and i hate reading that and uh yeah it's just uh unnecessary and i was like ugh, it really feels you makes you feel kind of gross when that's happening but when that's not happening uh you know there's actually some half decent writing going on some good scares uh, some silly moments, but yeah, it is kind of really weighed down by just how skeevy you can feel reading certain parts. And I'm like, oof. Uh, I'm uh, interested to see how this journey continues. Uh, I only have a few more uh, minutes on of power left on my wireless headphones, so I think I'm going to go through another uh, audiobook for the time being. I'm going to start the Traveling Vampire Show and then read a a little bit more of The Woods Are Dark. Um, and then I'm going to read one more Richard Lehman book. So I'm only going to do four and then just give the rest to Kelsey. Uh, <laughs> because I'm like, I don't think I'm going through some of those bigger ones. Uh, and Loomis loves this thing. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going next. Uh, and then I'm going to end with Nelfs because I, I'm pretty sure that's the one book in that bunch that I'm actually going to love. So, um, and again, I didn't hate Dark Mountain or Pret Tread Softly. Like, it did have some good portions in it. There's, oh, you just took the, he took the thing out. Oh, God, where was I? Okay, well, while I figure that out and then start to listen to a Traveling Vampire show, uh, I'll check in. I'll uh, probably just check in tomorrow when I'm finished one or both of those books. To Lou. So, I just finished The Traveling Vampire Show, which is my second Richard Lehman book. And... For about 75% of that book, it's like this nice coming-of-age story that, like, seems really well put together. It seems like Layman is avoiding his worst tendencies. The entire book, there's only one rump. And for a while, it's kind of like this nice kind of, like, teenager coming-of-age story. Yes, there's a little bit of, like, a oof, whatevs, uh, as far as, like, some of the his uh, obsession with the boobies. But at least it makes sense, given that he's writing about teenage boys. Uh, and it doesn't go seem to go overly creepy in one way or the other for a while. And for that time, I was like, wow, this is just like a great story. Like, this is really cool and interesting. And then all of a sudden, it goes full layman. We are talking full ass to the brim, wild layman in the end. And I'm like, wait, I thought this was... Like, Teenage Ghostbusters, not Teenage Ghostbusters, Teenage Goosebumps for a while, where it's going to be like, oh, oh, it's just about kids growing up. And there were there spooky things? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's an explanation. Um, and then it goes wild. And then, like, all of the stuff that Richard Lehman is quite uh, known for happens. And it's one of those things where I'm like, this is an entirely different book. This ending is not what I signed up for for like the majority of this book so I can't tell if I liked this book or not I want to recommend it because like for 75% of it it's like really really good coming of age story writing with like good characters well thought out and I was just kind of like impressed for a while I'm like wow this is like actually like pretty cool like I'm really kind of impressed by this this writing style there's a lot of like strong female characters and stuff like that and you know, there's not, everyone's not boning all the time, which again, of course, is nothing, nothing wrong with that. But the problem with Layman is that it's people of all ages and it gets real, real sketchy. Um, and none of that actually happens. There's no like um, teenage, uh, well, I, nothing that you directly see. Um, and for a while, it's like this beautiful coming of age story where it's like, I think of, I think of it like a boat, like it's this wonderful boat. And then every few boards when you're like kind of looking at this boat looking at the boards that make up this boat one of them just looks real fucking weird and you're like what's up with that board and you're like ah that's just the shipbuilder does that all the time so you're like oh okay well the rest of the ship is very beautiful other than these like five to ten very weird ass boards that 
Uh, there's some weird shit going on. But, you know, uh, but the rest of it, the, the boat is pretty good. And then all of a sudden, it unfeels the, sh- like, you, you, like, get the tour of this boat, and then all of a sudden, they, like, bring the sails down, because it's a sailboat now. Did I establish that earlier? No, whatevs. It's my analogy. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it's the weirdest sail you've ever seen. And that's what caps the entire boat off of. And it's, like, this huge, giant sail, and it's like, whoa, what the f- is that? I... I don't, what? What's going, what? Uh, so, that was my conflicted ramblings on, <laughs> on uh, the Traveling Vampire Show. 75% of it I really liked. The 25% of it was wild and at least entertaining, but also like, ugh, and what? Uh, and what? <laughs> so, uh, mild? mild recommend for that i guess if you're a person who enjoys layman's normal wildness but uh also enjoys coming of age stories uh, i guess i'm gonna finish the woods are dark now oh what a weird vlog this is all right so i finished the woods are dark i really don't know if man was meant to read this much richard layman in in one week but i'm gonna be doing my fourth and Oh, thank goodness, final Richard Lehman book, uh, <laughs> which will be this copy of Night Show. Um, the Woods Are Dark, Richard Lehman Challenge. Richard Lehman, can you write a book without having a horrific sexual assault in it? Probably not. That's what he does a lot. And it's it's not, uh, oh God, it's not good in this book. It's bad. It's some bad scenes in this book. But then it's also like, well, like, this book is pretty fast-paced, and there are some, like, wild scenes that you're like, oh, wow. And there were some actually pretty interesting scenes in that, like, um, like a, a woman reveals herself as bisexual, and it's, like, fine, it's not looked down upon, and it's just, like, there's, like, a nice little thing in that. And then there is just instantly a whole bunch of other sexual assault. And I'm like, oh, okay. It's like, every time I want to be like, hey, Richard Lehman, good job. He's like, nah, bitch. I'm I'm a perverted freak. You can't give me nothing. No credit. Um, yeah, so... Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. This is basically a book about... There's, like, these people get kidnapped in a town, and they're being chased throughout the woods by a bunch of... I don't know. They're, like, all white peoples who are naked, and they're gonna kill and eat them. In a woods. In America. I I don't know where in America, but I guess this is a thing that happens there. Happy 4th of July. It's the 3rd of July, but I don't know. What is? Not for me. Okay, yeah, so, um, this book defeated me. Richard Lehman has won. I cannot read any more Richard Lehman. I was like, do I want to read some more Richard Lehman today? And I was like, no, I can't. I can't. Sorry, Night Show. You're done. You're done. Richard Lehman has won. I know. You know, take pride, all of you uh, Americans. It's uh, fucking 4th of July. Your country has defeated another enemy. Me and Richard Lehman. Um, and yeah, but that's fine. All these are going to Kelsey, so I'm very excited. And I'm now worried that I won't be able to fit them all in this box because, oh no. <laughs> oh well, it's a box full of goodies. I'll go into Kelsey. Um, and then I gotta fit in everything in here. Uh, wish me luck. Okay, uh, you know, if you like Richard Lehman and you're gonna be one of those people who are like, well, Richard Lehman is one of the greatest writers of our time, just talk to Kelsey. She loves Richard Lehman. That's why I'm sending her these books. And don't be mean to me. Isn't that right, Loomis? And, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a day that is good and better than mine and free of the taints of Richard Lehman. Toodaloo. It fit. Oh, no, don't bite it. Don't break off. I used all of the tape I had left. Come on now. So it fit. Uh, and I'm gonna send Bert with it as well. Come on, Bert. Stop that, man. Man, bro. Bro, you don't need to do that. Thank you. Thank you. If it...